has a hard drive in it. So you have that at the remote location or back to the screen? No, it's at the remote location. So you can have multiple meetings being captured asynchronous from each other. There's local storage. And then in the peg vault, it has a schedule and it knows when it should put, send video back to the center. Does that make sense? Through the internet, right. Or a, or a hard, you know, some of them have fiber loops and that sort of thing. So everybody get that? I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's also very unique at its price point and with the concept. If we can use our existing cable interface, we've got all the way set up. Our control is three miles from the village hall. Yep. Um, you're all set. Okay, so that falls into what we call the smart workflow. And uh, so far as the smart workflow, this takes us to our broadcast products, which I'm sure many of you have. Um, uh, this is our, well, this is the Ultra Nexus, which is our workhorse product. This is our two channel player, which handles two individual channels. Uh, it also though, handles dual encoding. It does both broadcast and streaming versions of the video. And so far as on the broadcast side, um, it handles all the things from on-screen uh, on guides to our total info to zoned, uh, emergency messaging, your programs, uh, slideshows, and everything. That all is handled um, each channel out of the Ultra Nexus. Then on the other side of the Ultra Nexus, which is all integrated and part of it, is this whole streaming side. And that's where you have functions like indexing, statistics, embedded links, searchable folders. That's all on Peg Central. And uh, all of your sources, whether they come from a church that drops off a DVD or somebody FTPs a file to you, or you create it locally and you take it from your timeline of your NLE and export it as an MPEG-2 file, um, that's where all this comes in. And so thematically, you see from Latronics, record, broadcast, stream. We cover all of it for you. And that's important because as your staff size goes down or changes or transitions, um, you want to have one thing doing everything for you. And I'm very proud to say that if you take and, and put our polyoptics product out, product out there, that you're doing even more integration and it, it, it's uh, even uh, more tightly uh, linked. Oh, uh, where are we time-wise? I know I'm way over, but... Dave, you know, just uh, everybody's enjoying it so yeah, much. They yeah, are. Just, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to run through really quickly, uh, and then I'll make sure that we have plenty of time for a q and I just want to give you guys a taste of some of the things from NAB 2012. Um, one of the other things that we're very uh, uh, excited about is uh, just last month, an uh, announcement went off over the wire that um, we partnered with uh, a huge company to have an IPTV presence. And so... Um, as uh, uh, IPTV continues to grow uh, and replace cable, whether it be over fiber optic or direct ethernet or even over DSL, Latronics now has a very inexpensive, very powerful IPTV framework um, that would work. Uh, you know, I just learned like in Traverse City, Michigan, the local power company is now going to compete against Charter. They're putting in IPTV huh. from Traverse City. Now, Again, franchise fees, all that sort of thing, there's an equation to be had here, but I think that after enough shenanigans, you know, people start saying, hey, we could maybe make some money or do something here. Um, polyoptics certainly is a big deal. One of the, one of the biggest uh, exciting things at NAB was the Ultra Nexus HD, and this is a single channel, high definition Ultra Nexus, which has both standard and high definition playback, but it also has 3D graphic rendering, um, there's all kinds of wild and cool things in it uh, that, quite frankly, in, in this industry uh, can't be matched. And so we're very excited this will be out to either later this year or first of next year. Um, Lab Vault HD, uh, this is a remote recording device for um, high definition gathering. Uh, we just shipped a, a bunch of these out to uh, USC. Um, we have them in medical facilities. We have them in interrogation rooms. <laughs> They're just, it's a, it's a very... Uh, reliable, long record time, uh, high def recorder. Um, and this is that uh, announcement I was talking about, the IPTV announcement. Um, and uh, what have I been doing? That's what I do. This is the view I see most of the time. I'm glad it's over the water, but I fly a lot. Yes, I had the camera out when I wasn't supposed to, I'm sure. But uh, this is a 
my enjoyable hotel room. Uh, I drag, I travel light. You know, you always have to have racks and racks of equipment with you, so that's always fun. Um, and I've been aboard a lot of cruise ships that aren't floating. <laughs> this is dry docked. No air conditioning, no hot water, not floating, and uh, brutal. So uh, when people say, oh, you lucky dog, it's just, uh, you know, hold my tongue. Um, <laughs> But uh, here's uh, some uh, recent deployments, you know, multi-server deployments of our technology. And uh, certainly I'm, I'm going to run through the Hawaii Electronics thing and then we're into Q&A. Um, we do our own stuff. We make our own boards. We uh, write our own drivers. That's an electronics board. Um, literally hundreds, if not possibly thousands, we haven't counted, uh, counted lately, of printed circuit boards and technology because all of us know that if you want something done right, do it yourself. And uh, that's kind of the philosophy that we've taken where it makes sense. We're not crazy, but we are, uh, I think, pretty uh, crafty. Um, certainly, we stand behind our products. Quite frankly, we stand behind everybody else's products, too. 90% of our tech support calls are about networking issues, Windows issues, that kind of stuff. But we understand that for you to be successful, we have to make the whole system work. Um, support is free. A lot of the people that you'll see out on the show floor who are competitors of ours are going to extract at least 10% per year of what you paid for your system forever. We don't do that. You buy your system from us, we support you. Um, and I think that we could uh, generate some testimonies of that uh, here in this room right now. Uh, definitely uh, some happy faces. <laughs> hey. Uh oh. Edit. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Not the yellow dress, but everything else. And uh, that's, that's it. So I promised a, uh, a prize. I don't hand these out at the beginning. And this is, uh, for those of you who know me, I'm not into uh, screwdrivers and coffee mugs because I just don't drink coffee. And usually the screwdrivers are cheap. So this is something that's a little bit more expensive, but a lot more fun. This is a mild visible LED flashlight. Please take it out of the box. I don't want to see you tonight walking around with it in the box, <laughs> going hey, like this. I, I don't hand these out at the beginning because, of course, everybody takes them out and shines them right at me, and it makes for a crazy thing. But um, this is cool. This is like a third generation. If you hold down the button, there's actually a microprocessor in here. You can see it's doing dim and bright, and you'll also see that it'll do SOS. Um, but one of the coolest modes it has, right here. You're in a restaurant, <laughs> they haven't brought your water, it's guaranteed to work. You put it in strobe mode, hold it up and point it towards awesome. staff people, and they all just like, what? And they come running because they think there's some emergency, which there is, you're out of water. So, uh, for the first winner of this, how old was I when I got my bowling trophy? Well, that was pretty good. <laughs> That'll be the only thing you remember out of this entire presentation, right? So, uh, thanks very much uh, for the opportunity to uh, talk to you folks. And we'll go back to Mike and answer questions. Thank you. Thank you.